Welcome to this video on how to design a harsh training routine or lifestyle like in the White Room, as depicted in the anime Classroom of the Elite. The White Room is a highly competitive and demanding environment where students are pushed to their limits to become the best. In this video, we will analyze the benefits of such a training routine and provide actionable steps on how to design your own harsh training routine. Benefits of Harsh Training Routine Before we dive into the actionable steps, let's first discuss the benefits of a harsh training routine. Studies have shown that intense training can improve physical and mental performance. It can increase muscle strength, endurance, and speed, as well as enhance cognitive abilities such as memory and attention. In addition, a harsh training routine can help develop discipline, perseverance, and resilience. These are all important qualities that can benefit individuals in both their personal and professional lives. Creating a non-dopamine environment one important aspect of a harsh training routine is creating a non-dopamine environment. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that is associated with pleasure and reward. In a training environment, this can come from external factors such as social media, music, or even the presence of other people. However, a non-dopamine environment is crucial for individuals to fully focus on their training and push themselves to their limits. To create a non-dopamine environment, it's important to eliminate distractions and focus on the task at hand. This can include turning off your phone or other electronic devices, training alone, and removing any external stimuli that can interfere with your concentration. Now that we have discussed the benefits of a harsh training routine and creating a non-dopamine environment, let's move on to the actionable steps to design your own routine. Step 1. Define your goals. The first step in designing a harsh training routine is to define your goals. What do you want to achieve? Do you want to improve your physical fitness, mental performance, or both? Once you have defined your goals, you can then design a routine that is tailored to meet those goals. Step 2. Develop a plan. The next step is to develop a plan. This includes determining the type of training you will do, how often you will train, and what your training schedule will look like. For example, if you want to improve your physical fitness, you might plan to do weightlifting and cardio exercises five days a week for an hour each day. To create a truly harsh training routine, it's important to incorporate a variety of exercises and training modalities that challenge both the body and the mind. This can include high-intensity interval training, HIIT, plyometrics, resistance training, and endurance training. You can also incorporate mental training exercises such as meditation or visualization to enhance cognitive abilities. Monday. Warm-up, 10 minutes. Resistance training, 60 minutes. Cool-down, 10 minutes. Tuesday. Warm up, 10 minutes. Hit, 30 minutes. Plyometrics, 30 minutes. Cool down, 10 minutes. Wednesday. Rest day. Thursday. Warm up, 10 minutes. Endurance training, 60 minutes. Cool down, 10 minutes. Friday. Warm up, 10 minutes. Resistance training, 60 minutes. Cool down, 10 minutes. Saturday. Warm up, 10 minutes. Hit, 30 minutes. Plyometrics, 30 minutes. Cool down, 10 minutes. Sunday. Rest day. Step 3. Push yourself. To make the most of your harsh training routine, it's important to push yourself to your limits. This means challenging yourself both physically and mentally. One way to do this is by setting specific and measurable goals for each training session, such as increasing the weight or reps of a particular exercise, or improving your time for a particular workout. However, it's also important to listen to your body and avoid overtraining. Overtraining can lead to injuries, fatigue, and burnout, which can ultimately hinder your progress. Incorporating rest days into your routine and taking breaks when needed can help prevent overtraining and allow your body to recover. Step 4. Track your progress. Tracking your progress is important to stay motivated and monitor your improvements. This can include keeping a log of your workouts, tracking your weight, body measurements, and other metrics, and regularly reassessing your goals and progress. This not only helps you see how far you've come, but it can also help you identify areas where you can improve and adjust your training routine accordingly. In conclusion, designing a harsh training routine can be a challenging but rewarding process. By incorporating a variety of exercises and training modalities, creating a non-dopamine environment, and pushing yourself to your limits, you can improve both your physical and mental performance, develop discipline and resilience, and achieve your goals. Remember to listen to your body, 
track your progress, and adjust your routine as needed to ensure that you are making the most of your training. By following these actionable steps, you can design your own harsh training routine and become the best version of yourself.